Happy birthday, uh, Malcolm X. I wanted to make this video uh, in wake of today is Malcolm X's birthday. I'm quite sure a lot of people didn't even know that. And a lot of um, this generation don't even know who Malcolm X is. So today, Malcolm X would have been 94 years old. And um, he influenced a lot during the civil rights uh, movement. He was a leader. And a lot of people are talking about Malcolm X today. I wanted to uh, put some insight, you know, hopefully that uh, a lot of this generation learned more about Malcolm X because we lost a lot of black people since this man uh, passed. And he stand for equality he fought for your rights to be uh, accepted in a world that was color blind, where they um, only really cared about white people during his time. Where uh, you today, you can make music, you know, freely, and you could um, go to school with people of different color. It, it was a time when it wasn't like that, when you could only. Um, be in a part of town that was all black, and you couldn't even you couldn't even be caught talking to a white person during the time um, of Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King. But let's hear uh, Malcolm X speak. And bring up the police are able to use the press to make the white public think that 90 percent or 99 percent of the Negroes in the Negro community are criminals. How can you have more cops and more crime? Crime. It shows you that the cops must be in cahoots with the criminals. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. And bring about the freedom of these people by any means necessary. We're nonviolent with people who are nonviolent with us. But we are not nonviolent with anyone who is violent with us. The police are able to use the press to make the white public think that 90% or 99% of the Negroes in the Negro community are criminals. How can you have more cops and more crime? Now, crime. I want to stop right there and say something. Um, so it is said that the nation of Islam, um, or let's put it this way, a black person killed or murdered or assassinated Malcolm X on his own people. Um, and the brother died fighting to have equality by any means necessary. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Quote by Malcolm X. He was born on May 19, 1925, born in North Omaha. Nebraska. So, Malcolm X was murdered. Um, Martin Luther King was assassinated as well. But he was assassinated, as we know, by a white man. Now, both of these brothers died for fighting for equality for black people. And today you have uh, black people just killing each other, man, left and right. And I know they're turning over in their grave because they fought so hard for, man, for generations and decades to get to where we are today. And I hope this uh, message will get a lot of you to do research on Malcolm X and all the stuff that he, he went through. You can even watch that movie with Denzel Washington when he... Um, portrayed Malcolm X and 
he did a great job. That movie is really dope. And all I can say is that I hope we get back to uh, being more united as one and not so divided because today, <laughs> today everybody's confused. They don't know shit, but think they know something. And they're so brainwashed, it's just pathetic. It's like, <laughs> like they, they're brainwashed off television and music. And they don't even want to do their research on where they're from and why they're here and what's their purpose. Most most kids don't even know what, <laughs> what they're here for, you know, and why you out there killing each other. You got somebody that's sitting behind the desk laughing and proud of you for doing that shit. And it's part of a program. But it gets deeper than that, you know. But you, you got to know your purpose. You got to know what the system wants you to do. And you got to know it's people like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King that died so we could be free at last. And that we could have the right to be making this rap music, uh, to be in movies. It was a time you couldn't even do shit like that. Like I said, it was a time you couldn't even talk to a white, a person that wasn't black. That was a time of that. So if you don't know anything about that, you should do your research. But I like to say this. R.I.P. Malcolm X. Happy birthday. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe later.